Hey, what is up y'all? It's Alex from Plus 3 TCG here and we have reached a milestone. A small one, but a milestone nonetheless. We are at 100 subscribers, y'all. I couldn't do this without you. I know it doesn't seem like a huge milestone, but it's really important to me to know that you guys are paying attention. You guys do like my content. As a content creator, that's just kind of our bread and butter. It really, it really makes us feel good when you guys like our stuff. Um, but I appreciate the, the subscribers, the likes, the comments. I, I appreciate everything you guys do. So I wanted to show you, uh, I guess, my more competitive deck that I've been playing with. Um, and this is the last regional, that, or this is the deck that I was playing the last regional with, I guess, of the season. Um, as you can see, this is Yang Zing Dinos. Um, so without further ado, we're just going to hop right into it. It's fairly standard, nothing too techy, but still a really fun deck. Uh, Three True King, the Earth True King, Lithosogen. Um These are the only ones I'm playing. I'm not playing the Fire, I'm not playing the Water. I've tried both of them, but anytime you draw them, they're dead. Because uh, the Water, you can't summon naturally. And two, the Fire, you also have to summon in an awkward way where you're banishing like a Miscellaneous Saurus or a Garlic Aoe or like a Suwani or an Ash Blossom, which all of those are super ideal. Well, I don't know why I said banish. You have to destroy those. I don't, uh, and those... Destroying those are less than ideal. The miscellaneous is alive and gray, but everything else you kind of need. Um, so that's why I'm only playing uh, these three True Kings. Then obviously we're playing the obligatory three Over Raptors because the best starter in the game or in the deck. Three miscellaneous Saurus. Card I'm back and forth with is Tyrano Infinity because obviously it's a dead card, but it does help put a lot of pressure on your opponent um, because when you're usually summoning this, it's with Miscellaneous Saurus banishing itself and three other cards, making this a 4,000 attack beat stick at least. And it can also be used as rank 4 fodder. Moving on, uh, three obligatory Baby Sarasaurus. I'm trying to play three of this because this is the probably your, one of your best extenders. Uh, it just allows you to keep pumping out monsters onto your board. Same thing with Petit Ranadon, but I'm back and forth between one and two on this. I'm hardly ever going into two, um, because I'm like, I guess you can recycle it with Over Raptor by like popping something else. But uh, two does come up sometimes, but most of the time I just want one. So I'm kind of iffy on this ratio right now, but two has done me all right. Uh, however, this card at one is pretty much where it needs to stay. You don't want to draw this. The only time you ever want to see this is um, Vanishing Miscellaneous Source to summon from deck. Uh, one. Uh, Ultimate Conductor Tyranno, boss monster of the deck, and it is searchable, so that's ideal why you only want to play one. Then our Yang Zing lineup. Uh, this is what you're sending off of uh, Denglong most of the time, so that you can uh, combo off, and then when one of your Yang Zings gets destroyed, uh, the Grave Effect triggers. One Beyond, um, this is part of a cool combo. Shout out to Doug Zeef. I don't know if he's like the originator of this combo, but... Um, He's the one who kind of showed a lot of YouTube and a lot of YouTubers that uh, one card over Raptor combo, which involves eventually using Chi Wing Beyond. And then one Suwani. I'm not playing a huge Yang Zing lineup because these are bricks, big time bricks, if you draw them. However, they do help your board um, and help you control the game state a little bit more. And two Ash Blossom, pretty self explanatory. Two Ghost Ogre, and uh, one Max Seed. That is the monster lineup. Now here are my Dragonic Diagrams. These are proxies. Uh, I don't. I used to own Diagrams, but then I sold them because money is awesome. But I'm going to be borrowing them. But three Dragonic Diagram is pretty standard. You can be like the people who aren't playing Diagram, just playing pure Dinos, but this is arguably a little bit better. More starter cards. So you can have starter cards, three Terraforming to get you into your Diagrams, and then uh, three Fossil Digs. Because you're opening Fossil Dig and Terraforming, that is the two-card combo that opens you up a pretty nice board. One Yang Zing Path. This card is kind of bricky um, because if you do draw it and you don't have your Yang Zings in gray right off the bat, it's kind of rough. But if you open up the one-card combo in Yang Zing Path, that's cool because uh, next turn you're guaranteed probably going to have three Yang Zings in the grave. One Soul Charge because if you open up um, Over Raptor, Soul Charge and Diagram, you can open up with a board of, I think it's Calamity, Nat Beast, um, Calamity, Nat Beast, and Denglong, and um, Lagia, or Dolka, which is like damn near unbreakable, but easily interrupted. 
two responsive defensive cards in the form of Twin Twister, one Dark Hole for board wipes, and then our two traps. Nine Pillars and Torrential. Torrential is really nice because if they get past like the Nine Pillars and they keep pushing through your board, uh, you can punish them at the very end when they summon the last monster. That's the main deck. It should be 41 cards. Extra deck, one Denglong. Now this arguably could be two. Um, the deck space can afford two for sure, but um, one, I don't own another Denglong. And it honestly hasn't came up too much. It's came up like twice in testing in the past couple weeks. Um, but other than that, one is all right because Soul Charge helps so you can get it back. But um, all in all, one's good. One Yazi, one Baxia, that's the Yang Zing lineup. These ones you're not making as much, but they do help you um, for uh, making push plays, spot removal, stuff like that. Herald, this is part of the one card combo because at the end of Overraptor, or the one card combo with Overraptor ends you with um, a uh, Denglong and a Trap. And so then you can just uh, negate something with Denglong or the nine pillars. Denglong will trigger and then so will Chi Win, which then summons the Herald. Nat Beast because of the combo with Soul Charge. Chambara to go for game. Omega doesn't come up often, but it has came up a couple times where I can put back um, like a dino from uh, the Bandit Zone if I need it. Trish, because it's pretty good. Still really good. The Evil combo, one Loggy and one Dolka. Tornado Dragon, pretty good. Spot removal. Um, the Small Zoo package, Dryden and Broad Bowl, because this is still really good to make. And then our uh, rank nines. This could arguably be a Calamities. I have a Calamities, but um, once they get rid of the first Calamities, they usually have the opportunity to set up a board, and there's no point in making Calamities again if they're just going to interrupt the play, and there's no point. So this is just there for the theory because it can do so much. You can banish uh, cards pretty much from your anywhere on your opponent's field or grave. Um... Yeah, that is the main and the extra of Yangxing Dinos. Fun deck, uh, very combo oriented. You all know that I really like combo decks. A lot of thinking. It's like a puzzle. But all in all, very fun deck. Um, tell me what you guys think, and I'm looking forward to seeing what else the channel does from here. Appreciate it, y'all. This is Alex with Plus 3 TCG signing out. Psych! We are going to continue this video, y'all. Thank you again for giving me the 100 subscribers. And I want to do a small giveaway. Uh, so, with my, for my sponsor, uh, P2 Collectibles and Gemin Sports Cards, they hooked me up with these three Maximum Crisis packs to give away. Now, I do want to give a huge shout out and a thank you to my sponsor, P2 Collectibles and Gemin Sports Cards. They are located at 204 East McGalliard Road here in Muncie, Indiana. So, next time you're in Muncie or in Indiana, come and give us a shout. Now, make sure uh, if you do want these three packs to like, subscribe, and uh, comment on this video. Um, and I will, I don't know, maybe in like seven days, I'll decide. Uh, who is the winner through a random generator y'all so make sure to like comment subscribe to enter the giveaway and I'll catch y'all later This is Alex from plus 3 TCG finally signing out